Sicily's Mount Etna is one of the world's most active volcanoes, but scientists say eruptions aren't the only major threat posed by this smoldering peak. A new study shows that Etna is slowly sliding towards the sea, raising the prospect that it may suddenly collapse and trigger a massive tsunami that could devastate the region around the eastern Mediterranean Sea. Etna is a big and heavy volcano, so gravity is pulling it down. Morelia Ulab, a research scientist at the Geomar Helmos Center for Ocean Research in Germany. It can spread more easily toward the sea as there is nothing to stop it. The volcano's slow subsidence has been known since the 1990s, but your lab and her colleagues used a network of underwater sensors along the volcano's southern flank to get a detailed look at this movement. Etna typically moves about two to three centimeters or about an inch per year, according to the scientist. In the recent study published October 10th in the journal Science Advances, the sensors showed that Etna's creeping motion occasionally speeds up for weeks or months at a time as molten rock or magma builds up underground before spewing out into an eruption. Back in 2017, the sensors detected a slip of four inches or about two inches over eight days without an associated eruption. The sensors also detect motion in parts of the volcano's flank that lie underwater, far from the heart of Etna's volcanic activity, an unexpected finding that suggests that the magma alone can't account for the continuing slide into the ocean. If rising magma would cause flank movement, then we would expect the largest movement to take place very close to the magma source. But our measurements show that the flank moves even f very far from the magma source. Now, Urlop went on to agree that the immediate risk is very low for this to happen. We know from the geologic record that collapses are common in the life cycle of volcanoes, she went on to say, but it's important to keep in mind that we are talking about geologic time scales here. Now, Etna is 500,000 years old, they say, but other volcanoes have shown just how catastrophic sudden collapses can be. On May 18, 1980, the northern flank of Mount St. Helens, a volcano in Washington state, collapsed after a 5.1 magnitude earthquake struck the area. The resulting eruption and landslide caused what the U.S. Geological Survey called the largest debris avalanche on Earth in recorded history. It killed 57 people, and cause $1.1 billion in damage, according to the agency. What do you think? Will Mount Etna suddenly slide off into the ocean, causing a massive tsunami? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.